Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Emma Crafts Design Vlog. My name is Emma and I am the crochet designer behind Emma Crafts Design. Welcome if you are a new viewer and welcome back if you are a returning viewer. I'm very glad that you're here with me to talk about what I've been up to um, craft-wise in the last month. So let's get started. First off, we have finished objects. So, what can I show you? I have finished Clark socks. So, those are the socks that I finished. I am very happy that I did a good job with matching the top of those socks. Um, unfortunately, there was actually um, some yarn that was reattached on this sock, and so the bottoms don't match. But I think they still look quite good. Those are tube socks, which means they don't have a heel. And those are really good for kids because they fit grow so fast that if you do a heel flap, um, they might not get much use out of them. But this way, um, hopefully Clark will have a bit more use out of them. Clark's my son is three. Um, he's a bit peculiar with his socks at the moment, so I'm not sure he will wear them um, right now. And it is getting really hot in Australia. It's summer now. So hopefully he does wear them um, for winter. But yeah, I'm very happy I finished those. Um, the pattern was inspired by Jen Richmond on um, Ravelry. She has a pattern for tube socks, but she does her socks from toe to cuff. And I've decided to do mine from cuff to toe. So it's the same principle as in you don't do a heel flap. But for mine, I've actually started with the top of the sock just because this is my preferred way of doing things. What else have I finished? Um, last time I showed you my work in progress for Haruda Unicorn, and it is now finished. So if you remember, the colors were picked by the bot in our Discord server from Lagangette. Um, it's a French Discord server that I'm a part of, and we um, had the bot pick the colors to make our unicorn. This is a pattern by Brun de Coton, um, and it's only available in French at the moment, but it might be translated in English in the future, I'm not really sure. If you do want to have a go with this pattern though, it's really well explained, there's lots of pictures, and I have um, a little guide to explain how to translate patterns from French to English if you're interested on my blog. So yeah, don't be daunted, um, it's really pretty easy once you just get the terminology to crochet um, something in another language. So um, yeah, I really like that little unicorn. I love the mane, I love the colors um, that the bot picked for me. I think it looks really nice like this. And I've added some um, sparkle, I don't know if you can see. There's some sparkles to the unicorn. I added three colors of sparkles on the horn and um, I've added some blue sparkle to the body. So yeah, really happy with how it turned out. It's really cute. Yeah, so I have finished weeks four and five of the Amigurumi School of Magic and I have also finished the satchel. So let me show you those to you. So week four was the water element. So I've made the Triton, the little helmet, the shell. I really like the shell, it was really fun to make. And the trident for the triton. So it's got his little trident there too. Um, yeah, I just really like, you know, water element. I love swimming, diving, all those kind of things. So that was um, really fun to make. And week five was um, spirits. So there's a jackalope, um, which I really like. I think it's really cute. It's got like a little flower crown. And then there were some turnips, which does are really fun. Um, I don't know if you um, know, but I have a pattern for a Halloween turnip too. Um, turnips were actually the first vegetables that we used to make lanterns for Halloween. So um, yeah, I like I'm quite quite fond of those turnips there. And there is also a little teacup for reading the tea leaves. Um, so yeah, it's super cute. So that's the spirit week, week five. 
and of course the satchel so as soon as I finished this pretty much I've been using it as a handbag I just love it I've decided to go with a contrasting um, color like it's kind of a silvery white to make the joints and it's quite it's quite big quite spacious um, there's like the little pocket at the front I've been using that to put my keys and I just really love the cord the Romanian cord that looks just really cool and um, I had never done a Romanian cord before but I loved working with this and of course you can see all my patches on the satchel they finally moved from my hat to my satchel so there's the um, from the first week the earth patch then the air the fire the water and the spirit um, so yeah that's all finished I've just put those onto my bag now yeah I just really really like this bag it's been a really good size to just go up my wallet in it fits it quite well so yeah very happy with how that turned out okay um so what else can I show what I finished quite a few things this month um, I think that I've done um, last week and that will probably be released um, I think next week or in two weeks it's a champagne bottle so I had already made this one and it's a free pattern onto my website um, I made it at the beginning of this year and um, yeah I wanted to just make a video tutorial for you guys so um, I have made this one during the video tutorial so Hopefully you get a chance to watch it. I will put it up as soon as I finish some editing. And yeah, I just really had lots of fun to make it. It took me a bit over an hour, I think, or an hour and a half um, to make it. So it's relatively fast. And I think it's just a really cute little um, champagne bottle. It can just go with, you know, play food sets. Um, it'd be really fun as a little present for Christmas. You'll probably have time to make that. Um, yeah, I just really enjoyed making it. And this one is your standard, you know, green bottle um, with like the red label. But this one was this one was more um, modeled um, from Verve Clico, which is like a brand of champagne. Um, and they generally have a blue bottle and they have the orange tag and... Um, wax seal so yeah really love making this i think it was really fun um what else have i finished the other things i've finished are kind of bits and bobs so i've actually um made a few christmas ornaments um so this one is the first one i wanted to show you um this one is a free pattern on instagram by ohana hook um and it's her character sean P. Um, this is his shadow so we've actually I've just put that onto my Christmas tree um, I've just taken it down now to show you um, but yeah I just I just think it's pretty fun Clark really likes his little mushroom um, so his little champi pee he um, has like played with it quite a bit and so I thought it would be fun to just make this little guy as well to put on a Christmas tree I've also made a snowflake ornament um, so this was actually just for fun because it's one of the very first patterns I wrote. It's on my Ravelry shop and I will probably just edit it and put it on the blog soon. But yeah, it's to make like a little snowflake doily. I think you could also probably just use that to make a blanket if you wanted, like a, as an hexagon square and then join them together. Um, but yeah, so I made it like a little ornament. So I added a chain at the top. To hang it and I think it go it will go quite well with our Christmas tree too and I used um, a bit of a thicker yarn um, this is um, an Atrixen yarn and um, sorry and at Ericsson it's called frost so I think it's um, it's perfect to make snowflakes obviously because it's called frost so yeah no snowflake ornament and then also just for fun, I've made some Christmas candies. So I've made a candy cane um, and I've made a little um, Christmas heart candy in red and white. I really love those candies. Um, 
yeah, I just really like the peppermint taste. Which is funny because I don't normally like peppermint that much, but I do like it in hard candies. So, yeah, those are really fun. I don't have a pattern for them, but let me know if you're interested and I might just um, make a quick pattern for them because they're really quite simple to make. So those are the two um, extra little Christmas things that I've made. Um, I also have another finished object but I can show it to you because it is a Christmas present for my brother and I have sent it to him so it's on its way to France at the moment. Um, I have made it from the book that I've, I don't have it right here, but I've made it from the book that I showed you last time, the Pokemon Crochet book by Sabrina Sommers. Um, so I've made Gengar. Um, I will insert pictures so that you can see my finished Gengar, but I really like the finished Gengar. I think it looks really cool. Um, I had lots of fun placing all the little elements to make it look as close as possible to the actual Pokemon. I did find the pattern a little bit weird in the way that it's written in the book. Um, and I think that's just because I'm not really used to see patterns like that. I generally am used to seeing the patterns where it tells you, you know, um, single crochet X and then, you know, increase. In this pattern, it would just say, for example, if you were going from 12 stitches to um, 18 stitches, I would normally write, you know, single crochet one increase times six. That's not what was in the pattern. In the pattern, it was increase every second stitch, which you understand, but it's still a little bit um, different from what I'm used to. So it took me a little while to kind of, you know, get my head around the pattern. But apart from that, I had no issue at all. It was pretty fun to make. Um, and like I said, I just love how it looks when it's finished. So that was a really good thing. Okay, so that's it for my Chris for my not my Christmas <laughs> that's it for my finished object I'm really into Christmas at the moment if you can't tell um I think it is the season really where all the stuff needs to be finished so yeah um so that's all my finished objects now my works in progress so uh, you'll remember last time I showed you um the books that I had um and I showed you that I was planning on making a socks, like socks for me. So this is the beginning of my um, Juanita socks. So yeah, I've just pretty much done the cuff and a little bit of the first pattern repeat. Um, let me show you. It comes from this book called Sock Inspiration. Uh, so sorry, Sock Innovation by um, Cookie A. So yeah, um, and it is the Juanita sock, Juanita sock, sorry, that's the name of the pattern. And that's what they look like when they're finished. So I purposely chose a color that's quite similar to the one in here. I just really like um, how it makes those diamond shapes. So yeah, can't wait to get a bit more done on it. Um, the reason why I haven't really done too much on them is because my yarn keeps on tangling and it's really been annoying me. So what happened is it was, um, I showed you last time, it was my unicorn yarn from Hobby and it was in a um, hank. And when I tried to ball it, my, um, <laughs> my winder, my yarn winder kind of broke. And so I think it just tangled the yarn while I wound it up. So it's not really a problem with the yarn itself, it's a problem with me and my yarn winder. So I'll try to fix it, um, but it's just been annoying me a bit because I've had to untangle the yarn as I knit, and obviously that's a bit of a, you know, yeah, of a mood killer for me. It's just, it's just annoying. So I haven't done too much on it. Um, the other work in progress that I have, I showed you, my designs are in progress, so I was showing you my Archaeopteryx last time and I have started making bits and pieces of my Archaeopteryx. 
Um, so I made a new one and this is because I am taking pictures, like progress pictures for the pattern. So the pattern is now, like I've written it and I have translated it, so that's all done, but I just need to add the pictures. So um, you have a head, a body, I have a few bits and pieces there again, um, the feathers um, and a foot, I've got a foot here. So yeah, I'm just kind of remaking it to take pictures and I'm hoping um, to get some testers probably. I think I'll just let Christmas go and maybe in the new year for it. So I might have a few patterns to test um, early um, next year, just because I just want to leave Christmas free and we're also probably going away, fingers crossed, for Christmas to visit family. So I just don't want to put too much on my plate for that. And um, the other thing that I started that was completely unplanned is uh, we watched um, Shang-Chi. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's um, one of the like newest uh, Marvel Universe uh, movie. And I really, really loved that movie. I thought it was awesome. And there's a little um, creature in it called Morris. And he's a Dijang. Um, I'm hoping I, I say that right. But he's a Dijang. And so... I wanted to make a crochet Dijon. In the movie, it's like all grey and fluffy, but in all the illustrations that I've been seeing of Dijons, they're actually more orange reds. And so I started making my Dijon in orange. So um, yeah, that will be the body. And then it's got little legs. I'm still missing some. It normally has six legs. And then it will also have some wings on its back. Um, probably four wings, I'm thinking. So, yeah, they're like cute little creatures. Um, this one will be relatively simple, but I need to work out how to do the wings. So that's probably going to be the most challenging part. Um, and, yeah, that just kind of came out of nowhere. I just really liked the creature, and I thought, oh, why not? I'll just make a crochet one. And I've just been taking notes as I go to try to write a pattern from it as well. Um, so, yeah, let me know if you would be interested in seeing it or if you've seen Chang Chi. Um, and what you thought of the movie. Um, yeah, I really like watching movies, so always keen to discuss that with you guys. Um, and finally, I think this is my last work in progress. Um, I am making an advent calendar. So lots of my friends have been making advent calendars this year um, for their kids. And you know, I thought, oh, this is a great idea. You could just reuse it. And it's like such a great idea to make, um, you know, a handmade advent calendar. So I have decided, I have found a pattern on the Yarn Inspirations website. And I will put the links to everything into the blog post that goes with this video. Um, but yeah, I found a pattern on Yarn Inspirations website. And this is what I've got so far. So it's the Christmas tree with a star and there's a really big white space below and so on the white space below you will have little pockets with the numbers for the advent calendar so I have changed the pattern a little bit just to make my little pockets a bit bigger um, just because I have two kids so I just want to be able to put um, you know, little goodies in it. The pattern itself tells you to put, so you make ornaments that go in the pockets and then those ornaments go on the Christmas tree. Um, I won't do that. What I'll do is I might just make some of those ornaments and the, like sew them on the Christmas tree, but then I'll use those little pockets and buy, you know, next year when I do it for my kids, I'll just buy like little chocolates or um, little treats to put into those pockets. So that's why I wanted them to be a little bit bigger. Um, those would be good to just put like, you know, a couple of like the small like Kinder um, Maxi, I think they're called, or um, yeah, like some little lollies, maybe a candy cane, stuff like that. So I've made three pockets so far, so still have 21 to go. Um, yeah. So I'm hoping that they like it. I think it'll be fun. Um, and yeah, I think it'll just be good fun next year to just do it. And I think I'll also make, so there is um, an attach that I'll put at the top here. So you just kind of crochet and you can put um, 
and attached to have it as a hanging as well. So yeah, I think it's going to be quite fun. And I'm like the, the big part is done. So now it's just a little finishing touches to put in, which is great. So that's going to be lots of fun. So that is it for my work in progress.